Everybody, we're about to start day two. We got sunrise just coming up. Um, I see a lot of activity already. It sounds like maybe a bunch of fish moved in overnight. I hear a lot of moving around of fish. Not a lot, but I've I've heard uh, probably four, five, six fish moving through already, and uh, much better than what I heard yesterday. Early morning is generally your best time um, for salmon fishing. Those fish haven't been pressured. They may have moved in overnight. They're going to be in their holding spots. So uh, I'm hoping for some pretty quick action this morning. See if we can land any, um, but we're gonna have some fun. Wow, this is dead today, man. All these fish that were in here have disappeared. Been a little quiet this morning, huh? Yeah, a little quieter. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday was good. I was only here for the afternoon. Had a lot of good good ones. But today it's been... I see fish moving. Yeah, there's been fish You see a lot of fish moving, but I'm not like... I don't, I don't know if there's new ones coming in and they're just pushing up. I've seen a lot going back down. Yeah, fish have been going up and down. That's a good one. That's a good one. Those are head shakes. Head shakes, baby. Oh boy. That was a good hook too. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a take. Thought I might get him. Oh, I had him until he went down into that. Oh my God, this is a monster. That was a big freaking fish. All right, let's let them reload. <clears throat> We're gonna lay low and let them settle in. That was a big freaking fish. Man, you can say what you want about whether you think fish the salmon take or not, but 
Yesterday and today are identical conditions. And yesterday I was hooking up. Out of 12 hookups, nine of them were in the mouth and I was keeping a straight, tight line. I wasn't extending my line across the current. And every time the fish got active and started moving around, that's when I get a bite. Today, I'm having similar conditions. The fish are either moving or they're sitting, but I am not hooking up. So, you know, I think yesterday they were definitely in a different mood and much more willing to take a fly. And today they're more, more avoiding the fly than anything. Very different from yesterday. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Broke me off. That was a good one. It was two good ones. That looks like a good one. Get him across this and out of the fast stuff. I have pretty good control now. He was flossed. He was flossed. That one right there is a flossed fish. That's from the outside in. That one cut across. He's flossed. Hell of a fight though. Alright, well my, my battery actually died there. Um, I did land that guy. Uh, that guy was actually flossed that I could only tell because the hook was coming from the outside of the mouth to the inside of the mouth in the corner. So uh, that's usually a telltale sign that, uh, that that fish was flossed. If it was inside the mouth coming to the outside, it would have been the opposite. I would have said it would have bit, but uh, this one, pretty sure he was flossed. Good hookup, good hookup. Oh, he doesn't like it. I actually want to keep him in the hole, so I'm not going to do much. Put a little more pressure on him now. Now he's going to go down. As soon as he realizes he's on, he's, he's off. He's taking off now.
That's the lighter line. It's getting me more fish, but I'm losing them more. Okay, so that one was a good hookup. Uh, definitely, definitely in the uh, in the mouth where I wanted him. I have no idea if he actually took or if he was lined, but uh, if you can't land him, you won't know. I had to go to lighter line to start getting more activity. So uh, along with a lighter line, obviously comes a likelihood of breaking them off, which is exactly what's been happening. But you see, when you get that fish hooked in the mouth, you get some massive head shakes. That guy was really head shaking right in front of me too, it was so cool. Look at that. No, ah shoot, that's a tailor. See how he's sideways? That's a tailor. I just want to get him off. Oh my God, I keep losing all my line. There have been a lot of fish moving through right here while I've been tying up. This is a definitely a group of fresh fish or something. So definitely an opportunity to get bit here. Well, all those fish that came through must have gone straight up to the head of the pool. I think they're just blasting on through because I don't see them anymore. I don't see any of them in here. I think they just disappeared and went straight on up. These fish are on the move today. They're not hanging out and playing. They're either on the move or they've been in this hole for a while. There we go. That's a good hookup. He's tossing this hole up, baby. I want you to burn your energy right here. Make it so I can land you. Have I got control of you already? Nope, 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 nope. There we go. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's all fine. You just keep dancing right in this hole. I gotta get you out of this water though. Gotta get you out of this water. I think I need to get up above you and, oh boy. Okay, that's fine. Go this way. I'm fine with that. Hang out right there. We're going to catch you. We're going to catch you right here. All right, bring you this way now. No, I like it when I'm above you. Oh, baby, that's a good take. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There you go, you're good.
I have yet to fight one in this hole, so I don't know what they do here. Whoa! You know, I, I ease up when they go down so they stop feeling the pressure. Otherwise, they take off. Oh boy. That'd be great if he'd stay here. Oh, that's a lot of fast current though. No, oh. I think I'm hung now. That would have been a nice one to land. I th mine, I felt mine, mine broke my line, but then my, I got stuck on the rock as soon as he came loose. I think he had me on a rock there too. I know, I was like, my arm was getting tired from holding it up so high. Oh, I felt that. Oh, I got something little. No, it's not. I think. Try to get him to settle in the tail here. Usually if they're foul, they go taking off and jumping and stuff. boy oh boy this is where you get in trouble because they get caught on those rocks Buddy.
everybody thanks for joining us you know another trip of the salmon river is done and every single time i leave the salmon river i'm just in awe of how much fun it was and how beat up i am and how crazy these fish are man what an absolutely awesome trip um you know story of the trip was really that i showed up in the afternoon yesterday those fish were active and biting um i i watched several of them bite and um you know the hookups that i had were really good and uh, the fish that i did end up landing all the hook placements were perfect like right from the inside of the mouth to the outside of the mouth today was a completely different story had to work so much harder to try to get a bite you know i'm making the same drifts as yesterday and those fish it was just a completely different experience it just goes to show from one day to the next those fish can be in a completely different mood so you know regardless it was a friggin' awesome day. What an absolute blast. So uh, I'm exhausted. I'm getting out of here. If you guys like what we're doing, definitely subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys for the next one.